Now, a story that was of interest to us since we are in the alternative uh, media field was uh, what's happened at uh, Rebel Media, the Canadian uh, alt media outlet over the past week. They copped a lot of backlash for their former reporter, Faith Goldie, covering the Charlottesville uh, rally. Many of its uh, part-time staff uh, quit. They've been blacklisted by a lot of uh, Canada's conservative politicians, which is their, their main conservative party or the, the people who you know, used to give them support. And they also, yeah, they initially uh, backed up Faith Goldie, but when they found out that she uh, did an appearance on uh, a podcast for the Daily Stormer, which is a neo-Nazi white supremacist website, uh, that's when Ezreal Event, the rebel commander, made the decision to, to let her go. And so it's, uh, a lot of people have... Uh, uh, been saying that, or oh, is this the end for you know the rebel? You know, have they like ruined their their reputation? Well, I, I certainly do think that they have. Um, uh, Kaylin uh, Roberts uh, Robertson uh, certainly put together a very um, damning video, shall I say, of, of rebel. And uh, he had a montage of uh, please sign our petition, please sign our petition. And then he stated, without a great degree of uh, evidence, shall I say, that uh, Rebel was misappropriating funds, shoving it in their own pockets, what have you. Um, that is concerning, for sure. But I, I think that, uh, that the Rebel media will survive, but it won't be the, the force that it once was. Um, it's recently lost their co-founder, uh, Brian Lilly, over this, or over the editorial direction, um, and losing uh, people like Faith Goldie, uh, you know, absolutely stunning, gorgeous, incredibly switched on, you know, probably one of the best things uh, to happen to Rebel alongside Lauren Southern, uh, who was also lost, um, uh, went, went, uh, went, uh, went, uh, went away uh, from Rebel. Uh, because of the Israeli trip, I understand, and she wasn't happy with when when Rebel asked for more money when they already had the funds required for the well, Israeli trip. Well, that's the trip. allegation so, that Kaylin Robertson made. Uh, um, but yeah, we don't we don't know if, if that's hundred percent true. Well, you you, you have to be very sceptical uh, about these things. I, I am I, I'm shocked by those allegations, but there wasn't much weight behind them. The, the video itself was damning and shocking, uh, but it was also uh, not very well weighted down with evidence, and it was malicious, and it was self-serving, and it was designed um, to destroy Rebel's image. I, I view Kayla Robertson as a complete narcissist, a complete self-serving idiot um, who is destroying the old media scene through his... Um, his antics here, and I think he should have a bloody good hard look at himself for what he's done. Uh, in Kalen's, uh, you know, the the truth about Rebel Media video, he he played snippets of like he secretly recorded as well event when uh, he was in, in the UK trying to negotiate a, a severance payment, and Ezra talks about you know hush money, which it sounds all very damaging. Now under pressure, Kalen released the the full recording, which appears to you know back up you know Ezra's story, uh, which he put in his uh, blackmail video that uh, Kalen Robertson and his partner were, were they kept making demands for you know, emergency funds and they, they, they kept uh, misappropriating them. And the full recording seems to, seems to back up what Ezra is saying because there's, there's never any mention of any, any sort of, you know, keep quiet about what the rebel's doing here or anything. It, it appears that, you know, Kalen's the one who's trying to uh, extort money. And, yeah, I have been uh, following this story closely. And Ezra Levent, he uh, recently released, normally his TV show is behind the rebel paywall, but his uh, recent show where he reflected on the, the past week, um, he released that uh, to the public on, on YouTube and he, he 
showed us a clip of uh, Kaylin Robinson, his appearance on a UK reality TV show, uh, which uh, talked about uh, young people in debt. And uh, Kaylin was on, was on it. Uh, he he was in £5,000 worth of debt because he had spent that money trying to be famous on the internet. Uh, what, what he'd basically done is he, he, he borrowed all, all this money and with a bunch of people had gone to you know, five-star hotels and partied with them, filmed it all and uploaded it online in an effort to get famous. And basically, because it, 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 it's it has uh, this is like pu uh, publicly available reality TV. It basically paints Kaylin as you know just this uh, attention seeker who wants to get famous, and clearly he saw the the rebel media as an opportunity for him to to get attention. And Ezra admitted this himself that you know he he did show poor judgment in basically you know hiring this guy which if he did like a bit of background on him you know would have known that you know he's he's not the type of person that can be trusted well um thank you for filling me in on that thing i wasn't aware of that israel that video uh, i had seen it but i hadn't watched it so basically from from what i get here is that he's uh Cherry picked a few lines and probably probably in an effort to extort even more money from Ezra. Um, to risk quoting George Bush, uh, I uh, looked into Ezra's eyes and I you know I saw he was a was a good man and and of good spirits and uh, I've I've met Ezra. He's um, yeah, uh, we both met him at the not, Friedman conference. Uh, yeah, and he, he's he's certainly a, a hero of the alternative media. Certainly, a man with a lot of drive, a lot of ambition, and, and a lot of vision. He's a great entrepreneur. We should venerate entrepreneurs. We shouldn't put them down. Um, and I think that Ezra uh, showed a bit of poor judgment. He, he he told me the Friedman conference to send him an email with a box top three minute video, and I'll see how you go. I've never got around to that, but that was just he, he that was pretty much you know I could have got a job out of a out of a half an hour chat with Ezra. Um, so that, that does show that his uh, practices of uh, employing people, uh, his due diligence isn't uh, up to scratch uh, for sure. Uh, I also pointed Ezra in the direction of Mark Latham, which I hopefully a few of uh, the people watching this podcast are happy with. I sat down with him, had a chat, and I said, I think Mark's a man. So I think that Ezra is great. Uh, he's, he's great for, as you would say, unshackling uh, the Australian populace from the... Uh, the agenda-driven mainstream media, but I think that the practices of rebel, I think it's a good lesson that they need to be a bit more stringent when they employ people. They've obviously had good luck with Lehman uh, and uh, Mr. Ahmed and uh, Mark Latham, but it just goes to show a lot like uh, with immigration policy that you have to be careful because uh, the, the, the wolf can sneak through with the um, pack of sheep. Yeah. I mean, in Australia, like you mentioned, the people they've hired, they're all, you know, well-established uh, people. He's, he's really put together a, uh, a solid team uh, in Australia. But yes, it, it's, and he conceded this, um, I, I will link to this uh, video in the show notes page, because Ezra, he's, he, he's, he's very uh, open and forthright and says, you know, we do need to do things a bit differently. And he, he did uh, uh, release uh, Rebels accounts, uh, you know, showing where where all the all the money goes because they they don't just do premium memberships they also do crowdfunding for their for their trips and that and so he you know conceded that yeah like I do want to be transparent with you and it was actually like there, there was nothing scandalous about you know what, what was in the accounts he's, he's got a link which is uh, uh, the rebel dot media slash trust where you can look at it uh, for yourself and I remember watching the show, and it's like, oh, this financial stuff, it's all really boring. It's like, it, like it, it's not the scandal that we all promised. Uh, it's certainly hyped up for uh, Kaylin's mm. own amusement, I think, Tim. Yeah, and, and so I, I definitely think, and obviously losing Faith Goldie is... It is is quite a loss as well. I did listen to that uh, podcast. She appeared on the the Daily Stormer, and you can understand why Ezra, you know, to, uh, made that decision to fire her because she really seems to sympathise with these 
you know, alt-right people saying, you know, people should, you know, take you seriously and I think, you know, you'll get someone elected soon. It's like, it's, she's not being objective. She's really, she's really sort of, you know, sort of encouraging them, which is sort of like, it's, it's one thing to sort of, you know, cover the rally because it's a, an area of public interest, but it's another thing to sort of, uh, I, I think, you know, appear to advocate for them. Yeah, uh, well, I think that giving these people oxygen is quite terrible. Uh, it, it's like uh, when you've got a, a fire in your oven. You don't keep the oven door open and let it consume your kitchen and then your entire house. You've got to close it straight away. So I, I'm with Esri here, Faith Goldie, beautiful, intelligent, great reporter, but she's certainly in the wrong here. I'm sorry to say she shouldn't have gone on a neo-Nazi uh, podcast. It's wrong. Um, and she had to be let go. Unfortunately, and terrible because she was such a talent, such a tenacious individual. Uh, her coverage of the uh, illegal migrants crossing into Canada is just amazing. So it's sad to see her go there. Uh, um, but unlike Kaylin, she, you know, left the rebel, you know, gracefully, you know, had polite, you know, parting words. So uh, it's clear that, you know, she's, you know, a professional and, you know, she'll bounce back from this. I, I think that you could put Faith Goldie in the same basket as uh, Milo Yiannopoulos. I think that she's such a talent, uh, so professional uh, in, in most means, bar that. That's probably just a, you know, it's an unfortunate spec on her career, but I think that she'll come back from this uh, mighty high and mighty strong, and I'm looking forward to um, seeing how Faith goes in the future. Uh, and for all those people who are wanting, wanting to stick the knife into the rebel, I don't, I don't think you'll, you'll, you'll get the, the glee that you're after.